thought it was really cool to like have an entrepreneurship, like a company that's not gaming. Yeah. Because it's mm-hmm. something offline TV talks about a lot. It's like mm-hmm. one day, you know, will we ever do something like own a company that's not gaming? Will we make a product? Mm-hmm. What if, like, is it clothes? Is it drink? Is it something that'll like live on beyond our persona? Yeah, yeah. that was the goal too. Um, obviously, I had to promote Ninja Milk, right? But mm-hmm. the end goal is to be like, I don't want to just be, oh, it's Ryan's thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I want it to be its own brand. Yeah. I feel like it kind of helps with you guys because you have more of more personalities. Also, it doesn't have to be just like an offline TV thing. It could be like another brand that you all support. Mm-hmm. True. I, I think for us, uh, I've talked about it. I used to say at the very beginning, I was like, offline can be, TV can be anything. We could be like a taco mm-hmm. taco selling company. We could be like anything we want. And I realized that like that statement is really bad. Because if you go to a, a restaurant and there's too many things on the menu, that's bad for the restaurant. Like you're just like true. locked because you can't make a decision. And the same thing is like kind of what's true for offline, where it's like we had so many options. It was like, we just didn't do any of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> true. Uh, well, are there stuff you guys are leaning towards or is that stuff you don't want to announce because people will take your ideas? No, we have nothing. <laughs> the only thing we have going on is potentially a robot dog. That's I heard. That's the only thing offline TV. Did you actually Dude. buy it? Uh, you know, we're, we're unconfirmed. Oh, yeah, we're, 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 unconfirmed. You know, e- um, emails are being exchanged. <laughs> <laughs> that's so crazy to me. I will say the one thing that we that we did learn was like, uh, I think most of us believe that like if we made good content, we can always worry about the more business side later. And I think mm-hmm. that's true. still true today. So like mm-hmm. yeah. our content is getting better. And I feel like, and even because we've kept like a constant pipeline throughout the years that like we could still to this day pivot to anything that we wanted. And so like, mm-hmm. I like that, like now that I think a lot of us are more stable in what we're doing, that like mm-hmm. we're all looking for like, maybe like, what can we do with this? And right. we have some ideas, but it's difficult because there's a lot of things that we could do that, that requires like a good plan or else it'll just flop. Like an esports mm-hmm. company, like you can just flop. Mm-hmm. or like some, yeah, anything like sure. that yeah and also having somebody on it right because you guys are busy every day yeah exactly yeah 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 someone trusted to be we've on had, that we've had interviews mm-hmm. with a couple people most mm-hmm. of them haven't pan- it's out. hard to find good people mm-hmm. to it's work with in the scene yeah, yeah. How, how do you guys That's feel about well i know you just moved out right uh iman but like even for you like scar since you're probably the oldest one there right I how do you how do you feel about having to live like do you feel like it's essential for your business to have to live together or do you like genuinely feel like you enjoy it having the company I think it's almost like essential as a streamer to not live alone I think it's really? kind of tough Yeah I mean ultimately depends on your personality but me personally I had a lot of trouble working from home and living alone mm. for extended periods of time um, especially like two months plus, because then I would just become really isolated and like depressed. I know some uh. people are way better um, at being alone than, for example, me. I think offline TV being a house helps a ton. Whether it's essential to the business, I wouldn't say it's a make or break, but I would say it's a big benefit. Mm-hmm. I would say it's essential. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, I, would say <laughs> I feel like... If we lived separately and got together to make a video every week, people would still want to watch that. I think we would have died like a year ago. I mean, I'm talking about at this point. It's oh, yeah, yeah, say no. in the past. Yeah, yeah. I agree, but like, I was history, like, wait a second, she just moved though, but like, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, but like, like now I think it's okay. But like in our yeah. history, oh, like okay. there was like one or two periods where I was like, if we weren't together, yeah, 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 that makes it sense. Have, boom. I feel. Mm, I think. Well, yeah. mm, I think. Ideally, there should always be an offline TV house, um, like in the future, where let's assume like all the old guard retires. I would like it if there was. We have a family and babies and retire. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> like it's this. It's it's an offline TV house, and it's just gonna be filled with like new talent, like. Big in their Aww, own right. And, that's so yeah. too, too imagine. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, we could always just rent out an offline TV office, right? Or like a workspace, a warehouse where mm-hmm. we film shit. But yeah, I think ideally there would always be a streamer house. 
I feel like the office is very corporate. Like, I don't even know what we'd do with an office unless we went toward one of our other ideas where, like, we make different. I think a house. I just wondered how you, like, I don't know. I, I guess, like you said, it's it helps for streaming and stuff. But at some point, do you ever feel like, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't always want to live where I'm working. I mean, I yes. kind of do that now. But what I'm saying is, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's but like why also, she... just like, did, you know, like you said, if you were, wanted to start a family or something, you know, is it going to be in every, like, do you expand <laughs> the offline house or like, you get maybe it becomes the house. offline cul-de-sac? <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. I don't know. I think we'll see. I, I, I can't really a, speak for them because I'm yeah. not in the house right I think now. It so. has a lot yeah. of pros and cons. Scar like, toast <laughs> when you guys making babies. Oh, yeah, and will you work. be moving out? Let's work on the wife first and I'll work on, <laughs> I'll work toward the babies after if that's fair, uh, like fair, a fair, fair. <laughs>